want me to praise him.
gonna wake up. Yeah. Be a part of the yeah. We can't get enough money, y'all. Yeah. But he blessed you yeah. over and over and over and over.
great. That's great, right there. It says, now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, lunch out into the deep and let down your nets for a drought. And Simon, uh, before I preach, sit down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Listen, I, I told y'all Sunday I, I, um, that I was sewing $200 because I wanted the Lord to do something for me. Y'all right. right. remember I said that? Yeah. I, I wanted to give the $200 because I wanted to get $2,000 during the course of the week. Y'all remember I said that? Yeah. Yeah. By Tuesday morning, My God. I had over $1,500 of the $2,000. <laughs> The day before yesterday, uh -huh. Uh -huh. the Lord gave me a couple of more thousand to go with the two thousand I had here. Yes, you trust in the Lord. You are so hot. And yet, not to be alone. We are not. We are not. We are not. Lord, I didn't know how it was going to happen, but I believe God to do just what he said he did. And he ain't no shorter than his word. Great thing is he's going to pray me, but I got the most of it coming off from my life. I got some people in my city right now. I need you to do this for me. I'm going to trust God, and I don't want God to work for me. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fish, and their net broke. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both of the ships, so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished. And all that were with him at the drought of the fishes which they had taken. And so also was James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch me. I just want to use for a subject for the next 15 minutes. 
Put your trust in Jesus. God, thank you. Thank you. Let me preach yes, what you got for me to preach. In Jesus' name, yes. amen. amen. Put your trust uh -huh. in Jesus. Yes, sir. When we begin to look at this passage of Scripture, this very familiar passage of Scripture, we immediately notice that Jesus is doing what Jesus is known for doing. Yes, sir. Jesus is at this point, brothers and sisters, he's preaching the word of God to folks and the folks that are around are listening to him. And when they listen to him, their lives, Tina, are changed. I need to inform you, brothers and sisters, when Jesus speaks, he knows how to get your attention. He knows how to get your attention because he is a captivating speaker. And when he speaks, Everyone starts listening. As a matter of fact, when he speaks, everything has to listen. And y'all looking at me like I'm a dog with a short tail. But if you check the record, brothers and sisters, you would find out that when he spoke to the wind, that the wind had to stop blowing. You, you would find out that when he spoke to the demons, the demons ran down a mountain and drowned in the sea. You would find out when he spoke to the diseased individual, the disease had to get up out of the man and all of a sudden the infirmity on the inside of him was cured. When he spoke to sin, sin had to tuck its tail and go somewhere else. And when he spoke to you before you got right, you had to listen to him and he changed your life. He stopped you from doing the stuff you know you ain't had no business doing. He stopped you from going to the places you know you ain't had no business going to. Some of y'all ain't witnessing because you ain't stopped doing what you should have stopped doing. But brothers and sisters, when he speaks to you, you ought to listen to what he got to say. Now he, he speaks to the people on the seaside. They are there. They sitting down and they are captivated by his words. They are coming um, to him trying to see what he has to say. And the reason they were captivated is because even though they didn't know who Jesus was, they still knew that something about him, there was something about him that made them know that Jesus was worthy of the conversation. <laughs> No, you're supposed, not supposed to judge a uh -huh. book by its cover. Uh -huh. But it's some books that can be read from the get-go. Uh -huh. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me in here. Y'all know Fifty Shades of Purple. Uh -huh. I heard some of y'all say it even before I got it out of my mouth. Y'all yeah. know that book. You already know what it's about before you open up the book. You already know what it's going into tale and you are enticed to read the book because you know what it's supposed to be about brothers and sisters when you look at children books you already know what the book is going to be about if it got ABC on the front of it you already know what the book is going to be about if it got a caterpillar and a butterfly on the book you already know the book by its cover can I tell you that Jesus is the same kind of book you already know what's on the inside of Jesus even before you read the book because he's a trustworthy person. He has already proven what he said he would do. He does what he said he's going to do. He's no shorter than his word. And when I got to this chapter, when I got to this particular passage of scripture, I looked at verse number one and the Bible told me that the people began to press Jesus. They went to him. In other words, they went after him. They did not go to get him, but they followed him and they got something from him. They pressed him and, and, and he was walking by the water. He he saw some boats in the sea. And when he saw some boats in the sea, there, there was no one in them because they were cleaning their dirty nets from catching nothing but trash all night long. I almost asked you when the last time you caught some trash. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Right, so I'm not, they, they, they caught nothing but trash all night long. But Jesus went and he boarded the boat. And then he asked the fellas on the outside of the boat. He asked them to launch out a bit so that he could preach to the multitude from their boats. Yes, sir. 
brothers and sisters, this right here alone messed me up. And it messed me up because he gets on a ship that isn't his. He asked the owner to stop doing what they were doing who was on the outside of the ship. And then on top of all of that, they listened to the voice of somebody they didn't even know. <laughs> Oh, brothers and sisters, he did not say, he did not say, I need y'all to check the scripture, because if I'm wrong, I want y'all to correct me. He did not say that he was willing to pay for their services, but yet and still they did what Jesus asked. Brothers and sisters, I don't know about y'all, but in this day and age, I don't know a whole lot of folks who are going to just do everything for free. Y'all lying, y'all lying. It, it's some caterers in here, and I don't know no caterers who gonna cook for free. I used to Uber, I used to Uber, and I, I, I made pretty good money Uber, and um, I wouldn't let nan person in my car for free. No, I, 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 they had to pay for for services. Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. They had to pay in order to get from point A to point B, and if they didn't pay, I, I didn't move. Y'all ain't going to help me in here. Matter of fact, if they didn't pay, I wasn't opening the door. Come on, Pastor. They hired me, so they had to pay me, and I, I, I know Russell. Russell is my son, and, and whom I am well pleased. He does. He does some good stuff. He don't do yes, all does. things good, but he does some good stuff. Yeah. And Russell, um, <laughs> Russell ain't go going to play too many places for free. Y'all hear him back there, not for free, not for free. Not, not for free, I just... I'm so glad he lived in my house and I can pay him that way. I don't know what to do. Yeah, we, we, we are looking for stuff. We are looking for some resource to come if we do a job. Sometimes, yes, we do jobs and don't expect to get something all the time. But you are you a sad individual if you got folks working for free for you all the time and you don't even offer them something. My mama would tell you that the proof is in the pudding and, and the proof is in the scripture that when a person does something, they ought to get something for what they do. It's right here yes, in the word. When Jesus had completed what he started, when Jesus had got through preaching to the multitude, he told Simon in so many words, I got to pay you for your services. He, he says to Simon, he says, launch out into the deep and drown. Um, drop your nets for a drought. In other words, he says to Simon, go on out there and you're going to get something bigger than what you have been looking for. Yes, sir. Brothers and sisters, isn't it good to know that the Lord not only knows what you need, but he knows what you want to oh, yes. 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 Uh, he, he not only knows yes. what you need, but he knows what you want yes, to. Yeah, I, I'm so glad that God I serve is real good to me because he knows that I don't like to have certain type of stuff on my body. Yeah, I, I, I like certain. Uh, I didn't got bougie in in, in, in in my 40s. When I got 40, I got bougie. And I, I just didn't want everything. I just didn't want all my clothes out of Walmart. Y'all ain't gonna hurt me. I didn't want everything I got out of the Target. It, it's still Target. Amen. I, I, I did get some stuff out of some other places. I wanted to be able to have some name brand stuff on my clothes. I wanted my labels to say something a little bit. Matter of fact, I wanted some labels that had my own name on it. I wanted some custom stuff. I didn't want everything off the shelf. I got to a point in my life, and y'all don't have to witness. I don't care if you're witness or not. I wanted some stuff that said Nike, and the Nike sign went upside down. I wanted some Jordans that I didn't have to get from the flea market. Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. I wanted some real stuff so I could be real for the Lord. He knows what we need, but he also knows what we want to. Can I tell you this? He's able to supply both of them. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. 
He's able to supply your needs and he's able to supply your wealth. Yes, yes. Gotta move on, but brothers and sisters, if you hear anything from me on today, you need to hear this. Trusting in the Lord is always better than trusting in yourself. Trusting, brother John, trusting in the Lord is always better than trusting in yourself. Peter proves this in our scripture. His short response to the Lord, he says to Jesus, he says, we've been at this thing all night long and ain't called nothing. In my crude interpretation of what Simon is really saying, he says, we are fishers, and if we know how to do anything, we know how to fish. In my paraphrase vernacular, he said, I tried every trick that I know, but nothing worked out for us, and I'm still using my imagination, and I believe Simon was saying this, I fished in the shallow, I fished in the deep, I fished in the middle, and I still ain't caught nothing. He says, I've done everything within my power in order to bring the fish in but then he turns around and says Jesus even though I did everything that I could do he says but never the less never the less never the less he says regardless of what I think never the less he says I'm going to trust you and I'm going to do what you think is best for me to do brothers and sisters we got to get to the point where we got to nevertheless disposition with the Lord even though we can't see it even when we Stack it even when we can't explain it, even when we can't imagine it, we ought to have a nevertheless attitude saying, Lord, regardless of where I am, I'm going to do whatever it is you want me to do. Takes me to my next point. Brothers and sisters, our willingness to please Jesus is always a step in the right direction. Our willingness to please Jesus is always a step in the right direction. Because now Jesus is about to blow their minds. The Bible says it like this. It says, and when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fish. Their net broke. And they beckoned unto their partners which were in the other ship that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships so that they began to sink. Yes, sir. Y'all missed it. Maybe I need to read it one more time. It says, and when they had done this, when they did what Jesus told them to do, they, they enclosed a great multitude of fish and their net broke and they had to call in for some reinforcements. And when they called in for the reinforcements, the reinforcements got there. They began to put some of the fish in that boat. They began to put some of the fish in that boat and both of the boats began to sink because of how many fish they got. Y'all missed it again. They missed it again. They, uh, so let me remind that thing. They got this ship. They got that ship. The ship that over here was full. The ship over here was full. And they thought they couldn't catch nothing all night long, no, but all of a sudden when they did what Jesus told them to do, everything that they was looking for all night long has now multiplied. They got more than what they was expecting. They got more than what they was looking for. They got more than what they bargained for. They got more than what they was expecting. They got more than what they was looking for. They got more than what they was bargaining for. They got more than what they was expecting. They got more than what they was looking for. They got more than what they bargained for. They got more than what they expected. All the to do. They got more than what they was looking for. They got more than what they bargained for. One more time. They got more than what they expected. They got more than what they were looking for. They got more than what they bargained for. They got more than what they bargained for. They got more than what they bargained for. They got Let's go. 
all on Facebook and YouTube. Family, keep playing with us all on Facebook and YouTube. Family, we love y'all with the love of the Lord. Yeah. And we want y'all to continue to watch, continue to support. We're praying for each and every one yeah. of you. And we believe that God is going to make a way for you. God is going to make a way for you to get in the building. We're yeah. looking for you in the building. Amen. Yeah. We're looking for you in the building. Yeah. 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 Minister Benita is in charge of prayer. Get on the prayer line and watch God do something for you. Amen. Amen. Hey, Amen. Do you want to have a quick announcement? Just to let you all know, third Sunday is what we do. We give our love off to our gosh. Amen. Also, this is month is also church. Amen. Let's give our round of applause to our pastor. Amen.